Hello everyone, welcome again and I'm going to show you another project is called online bookshop project or you can say online book store which is already built in the uh, NetBeans but this time we are using some advanced technology like uh, some management tools like uh, Maven tool and the embassy architecture to manage the book store and some with a new view so let's run the project then in the next video we'll explain how we are using this code how the code is linked and how that all the things is working step by step and one more video you will get on that same topic for the configuration uh, so currently we are we have the tutorials for the configuration you can follow that but some more changes you need to perform during this because we are using some pdf and images thing in this project so let's run the project and check the form flow first <coughs> so when i right click on the project and click on the run as a project and run on the tomcat server you can see the project is launched successfully so this will be your home page in the book section you will find two types of book one is paid and one is freely available on the website so if user want to download that free website free free book so just click on the download you can download the pdf that is a pdf and if he wants some paid books so he need to make a transaction and he must need to register in the application as well so for example uh step by step you see the first uh the all the understanding or like how uh the workflow of the admin section so if i'm going to log in as an admin so in the database i have already configured that uh, database so there is an admin and one two three is password for the role id one it means role id one it means it's an admin role id two it means it's an ex end user so if i'm gonna <coughs> log in as an admin and click on the sign up button so there is a two main things like one is book so uh, admin can check all the records of the book he can delete a book he can edit a book he can view the book he can add a new book and another section is the same add a book so for example if uh, as an admin i want to add a book new book like book two and uh, select paid or free so if i select paid it means i need to enter the number uh, price and if i select uh, free then the field will be disabled so as i select as a paid and i take a price of this and i select another image for that and let's see for example this image is already there so i will change the different image and select a pdf enter click on the same so data is saved successfully let's see the book and the his book section so you can see the book is here if i want to edit this book so if i want to for example i want to make some changes like i, I, I edit it and if save oops there is error okay every time we need to add image and uh, that pdf files so i select image and then i select the pdf click on the save so this time the record should be updated as a 1000 and it's yes and if admin wants to uh, delete a book some books if you want to delete so you can click on the delete so admin can delete that book easily in the book section you can check the same detail then when record which will reach uh, um, like 10 or 12 so the next one button will be work and uh, so this is for admin side as a user if i want to buy a book like if i want to simply if you want i want as a free book so i can simply click on the download button and click download download the book <coughs> but for for the paid services i need to register in the application so for example user demo <coughs> and user at the rate gmail.com and the password i'm going to one two three for now and another again the email id is user and the one ten digit number four six eight ten. and the card number for the payment so and uh, we are currently we are using the payment gateway is for demo payment gateway we are not using any kind of real payment gateway here so when I click on the submit now it's allowed me to edit uh, uh, download the PDF 
so as I log in for the second time if I log in as a user so like for example recently I registered with this user and user123 so if I log in with this credential it should show data yes so it should also show me the history like I downloaded this once I downloaded it for the second time I do not need to pay uh, again to download them I can I can log in as my account as a user and account I can download it directly so <coughs> this is the complete flow of the project online book store and this time we are using the new view and the, some um, some things in a proper management <coughs> so here is the project source code and uh, if you need the source code you can check the description box there will be you find a link of the code1.com where you will get the contact details so you can write a mail to me on this uh, like i will provide this link to you in description and you can contact me on this mail id i will provide the complete source code and configure the project at your machine for the <coughs> personal configuration we have a step-by-step -step tutorial that you need to follow here so you see <coughs> let's have a look of this uh, configuration tutorial like when first we need a jdk so you can download the jdk from the link there is a video part of that particular uh, tutorial so you can follow that video also step by step second you need id so video is there for the id and for the configuration part third it means i think it's for the database configuration and the next part is the server and uh, <coughs> this is some viva questions are there for the related to the project some java project so you can follow that before your viva or um, before submitting the project to your college how uh, do you want to check the new project from the code one you can check this and uh, you can check this list and you will find the more i will create a separate video so uh, it will help you to understand the and then uh, understand the things like we are, this time we are using the maven dependency so we are using the pom.xml so why we are using the pom.xml like to under, to manage all the dependencies all the libraries of the of the dependencies of the libraries of the project like you can see here we are using the mysql so we are using the mysql work, mysql connector servlet and the log for to print this log message we are also using log4j java x and other required thing like loads of dependencies are there when you are going to develop the application so when i add this dependencies code here then it will edit all the libraries here this is a one-time configuration do not worry about this the main part of the application you have only that pair folder where we are going to connect we are we are going to keep the front end thing like you can say the client side and uh, so all the css will contain in this folder all the images will store in this folder all the jsps will store in the folder pdf will store in the folder one main important thing that you have to remember during this during the configuration of this project you need to pass some specific path of your you need to pass some specific path of your images and pdf folder so how can you get that path and how can you um, configure that path so just right click uh, just go into the src then main then web web then image open that image and right click on that uh, image dot property image property and just copy this just click on this here the, in this icon and just go inside this image and copy this entire path and now you need to look up for the properties file uh, where it is like inside the src.main resources in co book store bundle you need to open this all the pro all the folders like this therefore when you are going to use this first time it will show you like this so just click on co then book then store then bundle and here you will find the file system with property here we are using the some static path so you need to uh, right now it's using my location path my systems location path so you need to pass that path here so for example if you want a path so path will be the uh, path will be look like this when you copy just add one more slices with everything similarly same process you have to add for the pdf path so if you can see the path here i'm using 
as a PDF is. my systems path so just right click on that pdf folder property click on that icon and open that pdf copy this path and paste this path here or we'll create a separate video for the configuration then you will uh, easily understand how can you do, do the thing so this is uh, my front end application like uh, we are using in the front end and this is my configuration file for the database and the path and all and uh, it's using the mbc architecture so it, here is a controller inside the controller it is contain all the servlets and to manage the exception there is a proper exception uh, package to manage the database activity it's uh, containing the uh, model part and util package to perform the common activities as a server currently we it's, 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 it's running on the tomcat server so tomcat at point uh, so tomcat 8.5 i guess so <coughs> you can also use as a jdk it must required 1.8 so thank you so much for watching just uh, uh, check the description link, uh, link to get the source code and other details thank you you can contact me over the mail also we'll